Good morning guys, hope you're doing all well um, and welcome to another ride. Today I'm out on the Sherman and uh, Veteran Sherman and um, I want to do a range test. So over the next few days I'm going to be traveling in and out to work and um, I want to do um, a range test because it is uh, perfectly 10 miles into the office and 10 miles out. So um, I really want to see um, how the Sherman performs for me going um, all the way into the office and then back and then back and then back out. So it's going to be about, I'll probably say about 40% road riding. It's not super fast roads, so it's B roads, it's very bumpy and you need to be uh, 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 keeping your knees bent so, so it, it, smooths, it smooths out the surface. <laughs> and, then, um, and then the rest is all next to the canal path. Um, and then all the way back, it's just the opposite. So um, it takes about 35 minutes to get into the office and 35 minutes back. Depends on how many people is next to the canal. It's usually in the mornings, it's a little bit quicker because there's less people um, walking and whatever. And then on the way back in the evenings, there's usually more people next to the, next to the canal. So it's a few minutes extra, but it's, it's pretty much uh, dead on 35 minutes. But okay, let's stop the talking and let's get going. So I'm gonna head down to the canal and then I'll do some 360 down, down there. So let's go. Okay, so uh, I'm down by the canal now. Ooh. Just dodge a few of these uh, big holes here. But down by the canal, and uh, just to give you an average, um, I sort of cruise at around between uh, 25 and uh, 28 miles an hour on the, on the road surfaces. And uh, while I'm cruising here, and this is quite a nice, uh, fast, straight bit I'm doing about again 25 it does get a bit of a uh, bit more technical here in the front so I need to slow down especially like yeah there's like loads of massive holes that uh, I need to dodge but yeah so it's it's always under 30 miles an hour and uh, uh, I haven't really found <laughs> where I ride here like really nice roads perfect surface um, it really needs to be resurfaced where you can really go super fast so I've got my tilt pack on the on the Sherman at 31 miles an hour and uh, so yeah that's what I cruise and it's sort of really a nice a nice speed it's uh, 25 just just under 30 miles an hour you see yeah let's check this out so this is where it gets a little bit more bumpy and slower. So now I'm doing 18 miles an hour. Ooh, it's still very wet here, sure. And this is now, we've, we've had like a good four days of no rain, but it's, oh, look at this, it's super boggy still. And I thought it's going to be all dry, super dry, I was hoping. -hoo -hoo. So the Sherman doesn't have a light sensor to switch on the light. So it's just a note, it's not something that bugs me. But uh, where the S18 does have that need to watch out for any ticks and stuff sitting on the leaves and the brush when you go by it so I haven't uh, I haven't I haven't been out in a good good what is it uh, about five days six days it's just been super it went from massive amounts of rain to uh, it's super hot here in the UK. I can, 
like an over 30 degrees absolutely insane <laughs> so this is a this is another section that is uh whoa um very rough and uh, good good exercise for the legs really but yeah doing uh, 21 miles an hour at the moment It does open up a little bit more, but when you ride a wheel without suspension, you can, uh, you have to really, uh, well, I find it for myself, I need to really bend into, or keep, keep my knees uh, really bent. Oh, look at all this water still. Oh, big rock. The thing is, I need to keep my knees bent all the time. So it's like holding a squat for uh, for 35 minutes. So I'm on my way back uh, from the office. Uh, 10 miles on this way back. Nice afternoon, good temperatures. So we're running about high, almost almost 30, but I think it's about 27 out there. No wind, and most of the ride is pretty flat. So uh, I just want to get the 360 out and give you some uh, indication of how it looks like. I start to sail on these ocean waves. Nobody knows, nobody knows how to find us. It's turning out to be a perfect day. I just want to leave our normal lives behind us. So let's get lost out here. No one else out here. Find ourselves out here. Okay, so guys, um, the range test is done. I have covered a, uh, a whopping 96 miles. <laughs> this is 
is absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. So, um, so um, I've been riding a few days, and I've been sort of sort of um, counting up the the um, miles. So it's 10, 10 miles into the office, ten miles back, and it's pretty much flat. It's a gravel canal path, so it's very bumpy, um, and then a bit of road. But um, let me tell you what happened is so. So I sort of uh, came back. Um, I did five days of back-to-back -back riding into the office and and back. Now for some people that's probably not a lot, so 20 miles a day is not probably a lot. But for me it's quite um, hard work, you know, it's, it's, it's on the knees and the squats all the time. So, um, but you get used to it. After like the third day you, you, you settle into the, into, the, into the road and you settle into the ride as well and it becomes uh, uh, really, really good. It's as you get like saddle fit, as they call it. And um, yeah, so I rocked up at this at this same spot. So I did five days in and out. The fifth day was in, and I came back. So I didn't charge it overnight or anything. It was about 20 degrees. It was all fine. And um, at this spot, I went past, and then I started getting beeps. And then there's a massive hill that I need to go up here on the front. And um, I tried to get up to halfway of the hill. And um, it was just tilting me back. They were saying, no low power, please turn around. So um, I came back here and I phoned my wife and she came to fetch me. But it's, uh, but yeah, it's very impressive. I thought I'm going to eke out that last, that last mileage that I can get to 100 miles. But I think, again, if you keep to 20 miles an hour, easily would you be able to get 100 miles on this wheel. 75 kilogram rider. Um, no problem at all um but but yeah 90 96 miles i'm i'm going to call it safely at at a at a high cruising speed um no beeps 95 miles it's amazing <laughs> absolutely insane so guys i i uh, i'm going to put some um, stats in this in as well the temperature of the board never went over like 45 degrees c so that's all fine um no funny business with the wheel it's just rock solid the only thing is really the rider i think this thing can go on um long rides and the only guy that's or the only device is going to be tired is going to be the rider um, as you get more saddle fit or leg fit um, riding this wheel but uh but guys absolute beast 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 where where on my um my s18 it's a much more comfortable ride into the office and back but um, if i don't top it up at the office um, i would run into um you know 25 mile an hour beeps on the way back so that's getting close to 30 30 miles but yeah sherman tested my weight um 95 miles with no problems so uh, okay guys hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you're enjoying the sunshine here in the uk and please come back for more and i'll see you in the next video cheers